that you taught me Sending it from us
She was telling me 
that's the last I'm gonna see of him. That was kind of felt. It felt awkward. You know how stuff just felt. It shouldn't have felt awkward, but it felt awkward. Like I could feel like some type of tension, some type of vibe. There. It just felt weird. You know what I mean? Finally, Nadine came in the hallway and she put a bag next to me and she says, "Mom, I'm gonna run back to the car. I'll be right back. Don't move." I said, "Okay." <laughs> I'm not going away. I'm not going to leave our bag. Child, I, the man come back out the room. He stopped at the door. He shut the door. He stopped at the door. He looked this way. He looked that way. And so, since he already spoke to me, I kind of hold my head down. And just like looking, looking at my bag and just like, you know, now how you trying to act like you've kind of paying attention to something else. So he walked past me. I didn't look up at him. Or nothing. He walked past me and uh, instead of going to the ice machine because there's nothing else there, he had the door. He looking at the door, I uh, guess looking at Nadine while she's messing around in the car. Then he come back and then he turned around and he walked past me again. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, okay, finally. I guess this is it. I don't know what that was about. I ain't gonna see him no more. Oh, Nadine. She says, okay, mom, I'm going to go park the car. So now we're about to park the car, y'all. Why does man, why does man come back out the room? I'm like, don't you got a whole female in here? Shouldn't you be in here, like, get yourself <laughs> ready? Shouldn't you be trying to, like, build yourself up? Shouldn't you be trying to do, like, a little foreplay or something? Why the freak you out in this hallway, child? Cause it ain't nothing else this way. It ain't nobody but me, the ice machine, and the door. Child, he did not go the other way. He came my way and he looked at me like this. Walking past. And I'm like, okay, now I'm starting to feel a little creepy because I got a cane. I'm walking slow. I'm by myself. So now I'm like this. I'm like, like this, trembling with my cane. Oh my god, Nadine, hurry up, hurry up. So now I'm trying to figure out is he gonna go out the door? So now I'm praying that Nadine heard me come inside because if he go out the door, I don't want her to be out there feeling kind of weird and awkward. And so he got to the door, he looked out the door, he didn't go out the door, he looked at the ice machine, turned back around, and he walked real slow, staring at me the whole time that he was walking back. And I just like, dang, I just like. I didn't know what else to do with myself. Oh my God. My mind was saying, whatever you do, don't speak to him. Don't say nothing to him. Don't make eye contact with him. Because this is getting creepy. This is getting weird. Like, the hallway was quiet. But I'm going to tell you, all if he would scare me, I would have screamed my lights out. You know, because I talk loud. I scream loud too. Child, I was just sitting there like, what do he want? And then, when he got to his room door, he peeked in the door. Instead of going inside the door, the lady was like, what are you doing? Are you going to come to bed? He was like, hold up, just, you know, chill out, hold up for a little bit. And she was like, I'm ready. And he was like, okay, okay. And I'm saying to myself, if you don't take your A in that room, take your butt in that room. Like, the lady was ready and he was in the freaking hallway, y'all. So then I was saying to myself, maybe it's another logic reason. Maybe the man, maybe the man is nervous. Maybe he needs time to, to, to get it up. I don't know what the reason was, but whatever it was, he was not trying to like get started right then and there. So I was thinking it had to be anything other than at home just being creepy. He came to the door and he was out in the hallway. He looked at Nathan and he was like, how you doing? Nathan was like, fine. And, and you know me and Nathan looked at each other like, and then uh, we started trying to make it to the room, right? And he still was out in the hallway just standing there. Oh my God, just standing there. So it was just so weird, okay? So we get in the room, we started whispering to each other and Nathan was like, he already speak. I don't know why he's still speaking. He already spoke. I 
I just felt so much comfort, right? Out of no 
see staring at me like that is some weird people out here they would visit and focus on you and you don't even know them child we got a body there and we went and stayed at another hotel until our apartment was ready but child i do not like stuff like that why can't people just be okay with people minding their business why why do guys want to creep women out why you want to be all creepy Can't take it away.